Hi there, this is Terry, aka Fit Blonde Brit, and um, another beautiful day here in Naples. Absolutely gorgeous, about 85 degrees and sunny. Um, I've been to the gym, I did a couple of bike rides, and um, I thought I would just do a quick video on, um, on my diet, what I eat in a day. And um, for me, it's all about clean eating, as close to natural as possible. Um, I cannot recommend clean eating enough. The benefits are absolutely wonderful. And I do tend to take it to the extreme. Um, that might not work for you, but if you incorporate it into your lifestyle or make it your lifestyle, you will be absolutely amazed at the benefits. And um, as well as exercise, you cannot exercise yourself out of a bad diet. Adding exercise to your life is always wonderful, beneficial, it's definitely going to improve your life, but you won't achieve the results that you hope to achieve regarding fitness or losing weight if you don't tighten up your um, diet. And clean eating is absolutely the way to go. So um, I'm just going to demonstrate what I eat typically in a day. Obviously the vegetables vary and, and the fruits vary, but it's sort of pretty typical of what I eat in a day. And you'll see that there aren't many um, processed foods in there at all. All right, so I'm going to um, I have to come and pick this up and take you over here. Got it all set out here. So this is pretty much what I eat in a day. And we're going to start with breakfast. And for breakfast, I have um, yellow summer squash, a slice of avocado, and I use the um, Florida avocados because you can slice them and they don't brown. They're bigger, they last forever, and I, you know, I typically put a slice in um, every meal that includes vegetables for me. So what I do with this is. Um, I make an omelette. So I slice the yellow squash, slice, um, chop up the tomatoes, the eggs, I use one whole egg and two egg whites. So I don't use the three yolks, only, I only include one yolk. Um, and um, olive oil. Olive oil is the only oil I use. Got my olive oil there. So just a dash of olive oil. Um, to make the omelette and then I just top it with a slice of avocado and with that I have one cup of silk vanilla soy milk literally I measure it out and it is one cup one cup two ice cubes and um, three scoops two to three scoops of my protein and I use hemp protein my diet's dairy free um, dairy is just, it's just not good. It really isn't. It's, it's very, it really goes against um, my fitness goals. And I'm also pretty lactose intolerant, but e even if I weren't, um, dairy just doesn't work for me. Hemp protein. So all it is, is hemp. Literally, that's it. It's one ingredient. So extremely clean eating. There's a lot of protein in that. So that's my breakfast. It is a uh, one whole egg, two egg, two egg whites, summer squash, or you could use zucchini or you know asparagus. You can throw mushrooms in there. Obviously, you can use a, a larger assortment of vegetables to make that omelette, but you don't want to use all three egg yolks. Just one and two egg whites. Top of avocado, and that's my breakfast. Then moving on to lunch. Lunch, I normally have a salad, and it's typically something like this. Romaine, spinach, or um, some other greens. Tomato, or I might, I might do a, a half a grapefruit, half an orange, um, or you know another vegetable. Chicken, boneless skin and chicken best, breast, sautéed in a couple of uh, drops of olive oil, and again. Um, topped with a slice of avocado. Now I will add to this um, half a cup of quinoa. Quinoa and, and oats are the only two grains. Quinoa isn't a true grain, 
but quinoa and oats are the only grains um, that I do eat. My diet is free of grains other than those two. Um, quinoa does is quite um, does have quite a lot of calories. So for two cup, uh, for one cup of cooked quinoa, you're looking at over to about 225 calories. So I have um, add half a cup to my salad, and then my dressing is just balsamic vinegar. And you want to look at your balsamic vinegar and again make sure that it only contains a couple of ingredients. Some of them are notorious for adding all sorts of things in there. So this one is pretty good. And that is my lunch. Dinner is my probably my favorite meal of the day. And I have a huge, this is literally, yes, all these vegetables go into my dinner. So I have eggplant. Um... Sweet, a little bit of sweet potato there, not the whole sweet potato. I think that's about a third. Couple of carrots, green beans, yellow summer squash, zucchini. There's my slice of avocado. I'm very boring today. I'm um, continuing with the boneless skinless chicken breast. So that is my dinner. And depending on, um, on my calories for the day, I might add in half a cup of quinoa to that too. If um, just to add in an extra hundred calories, depending on the workout that I've done for the day. So then, moving on after dinner, I have a little treat and I make pancakes. So my pancakes, it's very very easy to make. You want to um, cut the banana in half, and then in half in half again lengthways. So you've got sort of um, four long quarters and then slice it really 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 thin mix it in with half a cup of oats you can use um, regular old-fashioned oats or quick oats I like using quick oats um, the old-fashioned oats are better but the quick oats I just get a better consistency then again three eggs but you're only going to use one one whole egg so you're going to do one whole egg and two egg whites. So you're only going to be using one yolk. Mix it all together really, really, really well. Stir, um, spray the skillet with um, non-stick olive oil in a spray and um, scoop that out it, um, into two or three scoops and flatten it down. And those that makes absolutely wonderful pancakes. Sometimes I'll add in a splash of um, orange juice or um, some orange zest and um, maybe a little bit of pure honey or a little bit of um, agave nectar. I'm not a huge fan of agave nectar, but I did buy this and so I'm going to use it up. But I literally stick to the one teaspoon. Don't go over that. There's an awful lot of calories in it and it's not really the best choice, even though it's only one ingredient on a um, clean eating diet. I'm addicted to coffee, so I do have um, a couple of coffees, sometimes as many as four a day, but um, no more than that, and no sugar. Sugar has no place in my diet. I don't have any sugar in the house. My diet's completely sugar-free. So other than that, I have my infused water, and my favorite is the lemon mint infused water. So that's my drink for the day and I'll usually go through one of these or one and a half uh, pitchers to yeah, about one and a half pitchers. So this is what clean eating is all about especially if you really sort of take it to the extreme and you can see that um, from the entire selection here for the day there's only one actually two products that have more than one ingredient and that's the silk soy milk and um, the balsamic vinegar which, really, which just has some sort of preservative in there. Everything else is absolutely one ingredient. Now this diet works me and obviously you can play with it, you know, add in more vegetables and because it's so selective you really 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 get a taste of um you know what vegetables and foods work for you and what don't i cannot have broccoli i cannot have cauliflower 
I cannot have beets. Those are three foods that don't agree with me. I love apples, but apples are a fruit that really doesn't agree with me. But other than that, I love to play with um, ingredients and I go to the farmer's market on Saturday and um, stock up on fresh ingredients. So that's just a little video of um, what I eat on a daily basis. I hope to do another video tomorrow on my favorite butt move. My absolutely favorite, it's a squat with a variation move that really, really works wonders for your butt. And I also hope to do um, a hair video on the Jean Renault Easy Volume One Piece um, Hair Extension. You know, I'm, I'm committed to...